Welcome, everybody, to All About Articulation, where we do a deeper dive into the articulation of some of your favorite action figures, but we gloss over things like sculpt, paint apps, character history, accessories, because I suck at that. And there are already so many great reviewers on YouTube who do that already, so I don't want to waste your time. Today, we are reviewing the Storm Collectibles Street Fighter um, Fei Long character. Yeah, Fei Long. Finally, Storm Collectibles Street Fighter. They're inching forever, forever, slowly but surely forward of completing this line. Will they ever finish it? No, they won't. And I have another video that's going to touch on that. Stay tuned for that one about uh, where Storm Collectibles is heading and what they're trying to do. But anyway, that's not what this is about. Hey, guys, if you want to jump straight to, in, into the articulation, there's a link in the timestamp in the bottom in the description below. Feel free to jump right to the articulation. But first, I'm going to get into a little bit of spiel about this figure. Uh, so this is Fei Long right here, and these are my other sort of uh, kung fu, shirtless kung fu dudes. Um, we got the Storm Collectibles uh, 1. This is an 8-inch scale statue. This is uh, Storm Collectibles Fei Long. This is the Jada Toys Fei Long. And this is the SH Figure Arts uh, Bruce Lee figure that they released. Gosh, this was like eight years ago now. But yeah, there you go. From top, from tallest to shortest. This is like the uh, this is like a graph of the U.S. economy. Hey, come on, folks. Okay, so let's take Fei Long and let them step forward. Uh, this figure is slim. It's much thinner than the average Storm Collectibles Street Fighter figures like Ryu or Ken. But the figure, it's definitely a nice piece to display. I mean, he's a shirtless Asian dude in long black pants. The look is unmistakably Bruce Lee, you know? He makes it a great desk piece, for, for sure. But I think, like, 99 out of 100 people walking by who glances at it, they're going to think, hey, nice Bruce Lee thing you got going on in your desk over there. I think even a Street Fighter fan who might not necessarily collect figures might look at it and think Bruce Lee but first before saying, oh, wait, no, that's Fei Long. So I say all that to say, if you're in the market, if you're a Bruce Lee fan, you know, you're not necessarily a Street Fighter fan or an action figure fan. But, you know, you know somebody who's a Bruce Lee fan and you might just want to get him or her like a gift to, you know, pose or, or, or put on a bookshelf or on, on their desk at work. This might be a good gift for them. Because it definitely, it's got Bruce Lee vibes to the T, you know? Like anybody looking at this would think, I think Bruce Lee first. Um, all right, let's see now. Um, let's do some comparisons, all right? Let's, we'll put his other shirtless Asian dude with long pants on the side. And uh, let me bring in some Storm Collectibles. We got uh, Ryu over here. We've got... Uh, Ken over here. These are the evil Ryu and uh, I think angry Ken. Is that, is that what his name? And uh, we have Chun Li, Chun Lei over here. And here's Fei Long. So yeah, he looks good. He looks good standing next to his brethren and sisterin. That's how they stand. Uh, that's how they measure up. Let, let me do a quick measurement for. Y'all, he stands just under 7 inches. Like a, a hair. So like 6.9 inches. Okay. His articulation. The neck joint is uh, extremely tight. Oh, you know what? Let me just get the articulation. Okay, from top to bottom. Let's go with the neck. He's got the typical Storm Collectibles neck where it's there's the internal piece that you articulate and the the neck part or the whole chest at rather it's very very soft and rubbery very soft plastic has like a rubbery feel so he could articulate that far up and doesn't look that far on camera as i i'm noticing now but it's a lot better in person like he can get a good upwards look and he can look down nice and low because of that neck joint that interior neck joint with the very soft rubbery exterior neck go all the way around he can you know crack his neck do all the poses that you need a bruce lee like figure to do 
He's Fei Long. I know he's Fei Long. He's not Bruce Lee. He's Fei Long. He can hit a a gosh darn wide pose. Okay, he's got butterfly movement, not necessarily a dedicated butterfly joint, but butterfly movement and how far he can move in. He can cross his ankles. I mean ankles. He can cross his wrists. I need you guys to move out the way. You're getting in. All right. He can cross his wrists. Okay. And he can extend his back all the way. I think I just popped his shoulder. There's a lot of squishy, squishy. You hear that? But that's good because he's soft. And that's that's basically the Storm Collectibles uh, secret sauce right there. It's very soft exterior, rubber, soft exterior rubbers on certain parts that would need movement and articulation. So he could extend his his butterfly joint that back that far. All right, he's got a. Uh, a ball joint socket in the shoulder so we can go all the way around we know how that is he's got a bicep swivel goes all the way around double jointed elbows that can go about 45 degrees um can't scratch his own shoulder unfortunately he's got the multi-directional wrist joint so any direction you want to put it and pose and flex he can do either adduction abduction or flexion extension any sort of wrist motion it's all good two points of articulation in the abdomen it's two ball joints one upper one lower isolating just for the top he can bend this far down and extend that far back and isolating just for the lower ball joint he can bend this far down and he can extend that far back and in conjunction he can bend this far down very far down and he can extend his back that far back. So it's got a lot of movement. Storm collectibles, if there's, when they want to, they can make highly, highly, highly articulated action figures, which is one of the reasons why I fell in love with them. Storm collectibles was, at a point, my favorite, I kid you not, at one point, they were my favorite, my favorite action figure line, my, my favorite action figure manufacturer. Those days are long behind us. Um, and like I said, I'll probably make another video detailing why. But a lot of it has to do with what everyone complains about. They don't finish a darn line. You wait forever for these figures to come out. Anyway, let's get to the bottom. Okay, there's no drop down motion on the hips, but he can kick this far up. And you have a very soft um, speedo section that allows for very, very high articulation. Okay, he can kick that far. He can do a split for sure. There you go. He can kick, uh, we did the front kick. We did the back. Oh, here's how far he can kick back because of that softness. He's got double jointed knees. That uh, That's as far as it goes back. Would have liked to have seen more range, but what are you gonna do? Um, he's got a... Uh, very limited ankle articulation it's i'm not quite sure like he can point his toes down very far uh not so much up like he can't give you like that that nike check so much like here's neutral and that's it that's as far up as he can go uh he does have a oh it's an ankle rotation so what would normally be a boot cut it's got it's like an ankle cut. It's not at the ankle, so he can rotate this all the way around. Okay? And he's got, of course, toe articulation, which all storm collectibles do. And it goes up that far. So I mean, for a martial arts, kung fu, or Jeet Kune Do, specifically, fighter, who is the uh, the embodiment of Bruce Lee, he could he's a great figure. I like him. I like him a lot. I recommend him if you're a Bruce Lee fan, a Street Fighter fan. Uh, you know, I think he's definitely one of the better Storm Collectibles offerings that they've had in a while. Um, everything is solid. Everything's well built. Nothing falls falls apart like some other Storm Collectibles. Not to mention the name's Guile. Everything stays on him. Yeah, L like this figure a lot. I recommend it. 
Uh, if you can get it for cheap, definitely pick them up. Um, you know, but if you're not a diehard Street Fighter fan, I don't know if you you would consider getting them for eighty or ninety dollars. I think it was. But for just articulation purposes, he's fantastic. He's great. You know, very typical Storm Collectibles articulation. I'm a fan. All right. Thanks, guys.